this digital story will be about the primary healthcare principle accessibility. There are many cultural barriers that affect the access to primary health care for Indigenous people in Canada. The ways in which Indigenous communities in Canada are treated within the health care system is alarming. I strongly value access to good health care. I believe that the lack of cultural awareness among policymakers and health care professionals create a disconnect between the health care system and this population. Without an increased awareness of Indigenous culture within the healthcare system, healthcare providers may lack the compassion and respect needed to foster accessibility to create um, to healthcare for Indigenous peoples in Canada, pushing Indigenous people further away. This brings me to question, how can nurses help to bridge the gaps in cultural awareness so that healthcare becomes more accessible for Indigenous people? I've had one Indigenous client that had a less than desirable encounter with the healthcare system. When receiving report for this patient, I sensed sarcasm and judgment as the nurse explained the client's situation. The nurse explained that the patient brought voodoo dolls into the, the patient's room. I was confused and hurt by the judgment, and I wondered how the client felt. I introduced myself to the client, and the first thing that she said to me was, if you're not going to listen to what I have to say, please do not bother to come into my room. I asked the client why she felt this way and she said that she's always treated like she doesn't matter when she's in the hospital. I assured the client that she did matter and I was there to help. I noticed a dream catcher in the patient's room and I asked what does it mean to her. The patient explained the symbolism that the dream catcher holds in her culture. I had no idea that the dream catcher is a symbolism of protection of their surroundings, trapping negative energies and only allowing positive energies to move through. The client also had other spiritual objects such as a bundle on her pillow and sage. The client went on to teach me about these symbols in her practice. Due to lack of understanding, the cultural practices of my client were excluded, excluded from the patient's care plan. This led to my indigenous client being misunderstood, judged and discriminated against. I was touched by her wisdom and honored to receive first-hand knowledge of Indigenous culture. I went back to the nurse's station and shared this knowledge with the, my preceptor and other colleagues. This was an aha moment for all of us as my preceptor didn't fully understand the values of these sacred objects, but then she validated the importance of this knowledge um, in the patient's care plan. As a nursing student, I was able to bridge the knowledge gap by being curious, and I think that this created a sense of acceptance among myself and other nurses at the station. According to the CNA, entry-level nurses are expected to be culturally aware and to practice skills and attitudes that maximize respectful relationships in diverse clients. Listening to the client and allowing her to take the lead created trust in our relationship. Trust between the healthcare system is vital in health accessibility. According to the National Collaborative Collaborating Center for um, Aboriginal Health or the NCCAC, NCCAH. When Indigenous people don't trust their healthcare professionals, they are less likely to seek help when needed. As nurses, we must encourage access to primary health care. In this experience, my Indigenous patient was the knowledge keeper, and it indicates the importance of Indigenous people in the communities having greater control over the services that serve their communities. This is congruent with the values of the NCCAH. Nurses and other leaders can start by empowering Indigenous communities by collaborating with them and creating policies around cultural sensitivity and that foster accessibility. Congruent findings were found in articles by Brenda Kamara et al. and Stephanie McMonkey. The, they argue that access to cultural sensitivity and Indigenous cultural competency and safety training should be required by nurses and all healthcare professionals.